Hey guys, I'm Judd Xavier, and this is Joey the Cat with the matching Belova Moon Watch. So, I'll just. That's my cat. <laughs> so, I think it looks really cool on wrist. I don't know. Um, that's why I'm, I'm wearing it so you can kind of see uh, how it looks like overall. Why don't we take a little closer look, a little closer look, and uh, discuss uh, a little more of the finer details on this this fine piece uh, from Belova. Okay, here's the close up of the Belova Moon Watch. It's a uh, 44, rather 44 millimeter width, and the lug to lug, it's uh, 48, and the thickness. 13.5 the the band uh, from lug to lug it's 20 <clears throat> and uh, what makes it look uh, rather appealing on the on the on the wrist as a as not like the 44 millimeter would indicate would probably be the uh, bezel which is 41 millimeters and it's a uh, it's not an imposing bezel. What 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 makes this watch measure wi uh, wide is, is is the case itself, uh, where it's integrated with the lugs. So, uh, uh, those of you who think this is pretty wide and 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 uh, uh, kind of a uh, uh, watch meant for uh, those with larger wrists, I'm wearing it on a six and three quarter inch wrist, and I think it fits fine. Um, it's just that that inner bezel, or that bezel, um, is just framing this beautiful 3D dial over this cylindr cylindrical barrel bezel uh, sitting on this bead blasted case. So this is a uh, three, um, uh, three step, I would say three tier case uh, structure where the sapphire itself really just uh, stands out and and then rises above that uh, bezel uh, proudly <laughs> over over the uh, moon watch case the moon I say that because look how the 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 lugs are integrated and almost in the shape of a crescent moon there okay so off the wrist you can see how those lugs just slope down and swoop down uh, and I like how it's uh, flank how it's flanking the 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 band the the strap here it's a leather strap with a carbon fiber print on there the pushers the paddle lever pushers nicely done um, flanking the large crown the sign crown here the case back talks about or it just has a um, tuning fork and Tells us about the date of mission. Dave's got lots of history in this watch. Um, and it has that 70s vintage style reissue. 70s chic, 70s panache. Uh, they, they, they've done it quite well here. Uh, and let's go on to the loom shot. I'm going to turn off the studio light. And... Yep, it's pretty bright um, now, but it, it, it does get pretty light uh, about two to three hours, but it'll it, you can still read the time uh, and, and the wee hours of the night when you wake up at three in the morning um, because uh, um, you, you, had a, you had a nice dream about walking on the moon. I don't know, but yeah, that's that's how it looks like. Um, that's the loom shot. Woohoo, sorry about that. Uh, again, it's a rather large watch. I'm not, I'm not going to kid. It's, 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 a it's a large watch, but it wears um, a lot better than what uh, the dimensions indicate. Uh, it's a great value, this watch. Super accessible. Guys, pick one up. It's a great piece. Um, you'll, you'll be over the moon just like me. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for for hanging out with me. If you like this video, guys, um, please subscribe. The Bull of a Moon Watch. Please subscribe, like. Thank you, guys.